So what is inside an ignition coil? What makes for a high quality ignition coil? We're going to find out next. This video is sponsored by Blue Streak. Visit standardbluestreak.com to learn more. No matter the style of the ignition coil, where it is mounted, or how many cylinders it provides with spark, all coils have zero moving parts and are sealed. So if an ignition coil has no moving parts, how does it create the spark? At the heart of every ignition coil is a metal core. This metal core can be solid or a series of laminated metal plates. Primary coil is first wound around the core and is connected to the ignition system that supplies power and ground. The secondary coil is then wrapped around the primary coil with a barrier between them so they don't touch. The secondary is connected to the vehicle ground in the center electrode of the spark plug. The primary winding is made from larger diameter wire than the secondary, but it has fewer windings than the secondary winding. Some economy coil manufacturers will reduce the quality of the wire and the diameter. This can hurt the coil's output and ability to withstand heat and vibration. The primary and secondary windings can never touch. If they do touch, the 12 volts powering the primary coil goes right to ground through the secondary and you have a shorted coil. In the good old days, oil or layers of lacquer were used to create this barrier between the secondary and primary windings. Today, what keeps the primary and secondary windings separated are high-tech epoxy resins. The resin is poured around the coils, core, and the internal connections. The best ignition coils have no air pockets or voids. Well, this is why oil was used back in the day. By having the components fully encapsulated, the internals are more resistant to heat and vibration. Less expensive ignition coils use resins that are less resistant to vibration and heat cycles under the hood. Also, inferior manufacturing methods can leave voids inside the coil. Taking a risk on a cheap ignition coil from an unknown source can put an engine at risk. When a coil is not firing, fuel is not burned. The fuel can wash oil from cylinder walls, dilute the oil, and even cause high temperatures in the catalytic converters. Don't take the risk. I'm Doug Kaufman. Thanks for watching. <laughs>